Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mech Warrior 5 Modded. Today, we want to build some new mechs. At least one. We've got three here that we put together last time from Salvage. None of them have engine cores, so we're going to have to buy an engine core for whichever one or ones that we build. Um, looking at them, I really would like to get the Centurion on the field. That's a strong, strong medium. Um... I don't think we're going to use the Jenner, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I don't know. It is good for a light mech, honestly. I would replace the Valk with the Jenner. Cause you, so for the Jenner, I like to do SRMs. Uh, you get two SRMs. If you can fit sixes, go sixes. Otherwise, I think... Um, with all the basic tech, we might have to do two SRM fours and then four medium lasers. Uh, you can also do the two SRM sixes and four small lasers, a uh, small pulse if you got them. That works well also. So I'm actually kind of considering doing that now. We could take the what uh, 150 is what the Valk has. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to use the 150 engine for anything. We could probably sell it. I don't know. Um, it might work. Well, let's, let's do that. I don't think we're using the Valkyrie anymore. We've got better options. So let's just go ahead and strip the whole thing. I think that was basically it. Anyways, a couple, uh, heat sinks. So that's going to take 23 days. Let's go ahead and timeline that one. And the Valkyrie. Alright. That gives us 24 days until our next payment. Uh, now the question is, do we keep the Valkyrie or do we sell it? I think we just sell it. How much do we get? 603? Oh, that's not as much as I was hoping for. I mean, it's in pristine condition, despite being empty. Um, well, I'm not going to use it. We need the money right now, so sure. Let's do that. All right. That'll cover that. Now, the 150 is just going to be too small for the Centurion, to be 100% honest. I kind of want to do an all-medium laser build on the Cicada. It's not a bad build. Uh, the engine is the only issue that I see. Let me take a look and see what the 150 does on this. Let's see, repair all. Uh, 150 runs 60 kph. It's pretty slow. Pretty slow. I mean, what does this look like if we do all medium lasers? Yeah, that leaves a lot of tonnage free still. Uh, we could go with some large lasers and make it more of a support roll. Really would want a bigger engine there. Um, yeah, something like a 240 maybe. Or at least a 215, right? That's almost two mil just for that. Good lord, I'm not doing that. Um, okay, so let's say we do put some large lasers on this guy. And then we're going to need cooling. So let's slap a bunch of heat sinks on there. Okay, let's move some over here. Put one, yeah, no. Okay, and then uh, do one more there. How's that? 1.7 out of 4. Ugh, we're still not quite there. Um, wow. Okay, the armor is terrible. Uh, do we have any large chem lasers? No, of course not. That would have worked as well. It would have been better for heat. PPCXs, but they're tier 0. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that, although I am going to keep my eyes open for some of those so we can pick them up. So those are really good. 
Yeah, it would be really nice if we had a double heatsink uh, kit at the very least. <clears throat> I mean, there's just no way we're gonna... Maybe we do need to just go all mediums, huh? Um, if we drop these and go back to medium lasers... Our cooling... Weapon heat is 2.8. See, now we're looking a lot better on the cooling. Um, do we have any AMS? No, we don't. We haven't picked any up yet. So, is there any of this stuff available from the store? Doesn't look like it. More improved sensors. We already got a couple of those. Um, we're not re really doing long range with this mech, so I'm not going to put them on this one. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do max armor. Okay. So we have four tons. So we do four more heat sinks. We're here and oh, we could do some jump jets, yeah. Don't think we really need that much cooling, so let's take one jump jet off. I mean, a uh, heat sink. We can do jump jets. Like that. It's not much, but it's a little bit to get us over stuff if we run into anything. Any uh, terrain obstacles, that sort of stuff. That's what I like having just a little bit of jump jet to get over things uh, that get in my way. Because that does happen on occasion in this game, especially if you're using Bond Biomes. Some of the biomes, not so much anymore. They used to be worse, but you would uh, run into a lot of obstacles, rocks, and things that were just easier to jump over than to go around. Um, am I forgetting anything here? I don't really think we have much else to, that we could use. So, I believe that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and start the work on that. How much is that going to cost us? Quite a bit. That's quite a bit. Oh, uh, I hope that's worth it. And I hope we still have enough money to build the Centurion. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't know why that was on separate. Let's actually separate, separate those out. Hopefully that's uh, left side, right side. Um, let's just do that. I don't want the AI pilots getting fancy with chain fire or anything. Just... Go with the basic. Um, we'll paint these all together, actually. So, let's take a look at the Centurion. Or should I go sell some stuff for money first? Because we got to buy an engine as well. Which is going to be more money than what we have to begin with. Huh. Well, isn't that nice? Maybe I do need to sell the Jenner. Except it's only going to give us like 300k for it, isn't it? Well, 600. Okay, that's, that's not terrible. It's not enough, though. Yeah, we're going to have to sell some stuff. I think we dropped tier 0 stuff. There's just no... Well, I'm going to keep the... Well, we actually have quite a few of the rapid fires. Oh, no, those are burst fires. I'm going to keep the rapid fires because I want to upgrade those. And, oh, do I keep the LBX-10? It's only a single one. Tier 0. I'm not going to use it. Let's get rid of that. Those are good light rifles. I just highly doubt that I'm going to use them. I am not a fan of rifles. They fire way too slow for me. Um, although... With yet another revamped weapons, these might be different. 1.7 second cooldown. Okay, that's... That is different. That is far different from what I'm used to with rifles. Maybe that is worth checking out. Let me read. While they rely on velocity to deliver most of their damage, they also include secondary high explosive payload, allowing for massive internal structure damage. Uh, rifles are... Uh, and okay... Or they're against mech armor or well armored modern day vehicles. Oh, okay. So they do 
less damage to heavier armor. Right? 33%. Wait, wait, it only does 33% damage or it's a 33% reduction? I think it says 33% damage. Yeah, that's not very good then. Um, I guess I'll keep them. We could we could test them out on something, but I don't know about that. That sounds not great. Uh, yeah, let's sell those to get rid of these and get rid of that. We need that, but we don't need this one. Okay, well that didn't do a whole lot for us. I mean, I guess it got us got us a little bit of money. Um, we can sell some of those. Let's go two more. And LRM ammo. That one always stacks up. Get a lot of that. I think because um, you find a lot... When you find the ammo... No, it doesn't do that, does it? I was going to say for... Uh, when you pick up random loot in the missions and it's ammo, I was wondering if maybe it gives you like actual bins of LRM ammo. I don't know, because I'm not sure where all that ammo comes from. I don't pick up that much from salvage tables. At least I don't think I do. Doesn't seem like it, that was a lot. Same thing with SRM. I noticed it does that with both missiles, just standard SRM and standard LRM ammo. They stack up a lot pretty quick. And like I said, it's not like I'm going out there looking for that, like, you know, taking that ammo type in uh, salvage. Uh... Yeah, I don't think there's really going to be any ammo types that we can sell for anything decent. We did get up to 3 million now. 3 million is not terrible. It's not great either, though. I was really hoping to be up more like 4 million. I think we're going to need probably closer to 5. Hmm. Oh, we got a bunch of these small lasers. I mean, they're not super valuable, but we could take that down to 10, I guess. SRM-2s. I don't use SRM-2s. Are you crazy? I guess I'll keep a few of them, but I really... I go 4s or 6s. I don't think I've ever really used 2s. Alright, we're up to 3.2. Again, slightly better. The medium rifles, are those faster too? 3 second cooldown? I mean, that's still slow. I mean, it's, you know, it's not fast, but that is that is faster than uh, standard. Do we sell some of these? I guess so. That, that'll that net us a good amount of money. I know we could use them to upgrade into tier 2s, but right now I really kind of need the money. Take uh, some of those off the table. Um... What else? What else? I guess machine guns, they don't give us a whole lot, do they? Uh, whatever. That's kind of pointless. Uh, let's take off some SRM6s, I suppose. We're not going to need that many. Okay, now we're up to 4 million, so that's better. I think we're going to have to sell the Jenner. I don't think we can keep the Jenner in this. Uh, I'd like to have one strong light mech for doing... Oh, we could sell the Hornet. Uh, I want to have one strong light mech for doing, like, uh, arena matches. What do we get for this guy? Well, it's something. We can also always pick up salvage parts for another Jenner. I mean, that's not... This isn't really the best Jenner to do. I mean, it's pretty good, actually. It is a pretty good one. Um, I, I like the build with the SRM-6s. So you have an SRM-12, and then uh, like four small lasers. Medium lasers, if you can fit them. I can't remember, to be honest. Let's go ahead and build the Centurion, though. I want to see if we can get this done. I think we have enough money now, just barely, maybe. Uh, oh, we're out of heat sinks now. Uh, that's not good. 
We're gonna need them for this. Uh, okay. There are no single heat sinks here. Are you serious? What is a power amplifier? Uh, what does this do? Heat capacity, heat efficiency, energy gauss cooldown modifier, minus 100%, energy gauss heat generation, minus 5 pro, so minus 100% cooldown. What? These amplifiers constantly recharged by the operation of vehicles and then is allowed for the use of lasers and other energy weapons by providing the energy power. Uh, this power amplifier is optimized for the internal. I don't understand. I may have to play with that at some point, but I'm not going to buy it right now. I don't think. I don't quite understand what that is. To be perfectly honest. Um... Mm, we really need an engine. Uh, we really need heat sinks as well. That's unfortunate. We could go with like a 215 engine. 70 kph, roughly. That is pretty good. Uh, I'm worried it would be too heavy, though. No, I think that would be okay. I think that would be okay. Maybe we should go ahead and do that. So we buy that. Now, how many heat sinks do we need? Just one? Well, I could throw a double on there. How much cooling do we need? We have two doubles or just one? Two. Okay, well, we can, yeah, we can do that. Double, double. Actually, let's put them both on this side. Uh-huh. And... Is that enough cooling? Not really. Not really. Let's drop these. I may leave a couple tons open for some more heat sinks when we can uh, pick them up. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. Large laser. Switch that. Let's take those mediums off. What does it look like if I do a double large? 2.6. So that's actually not bad on the cooling. Let me check our armor real quick. It looks good, right? Yeah, armor is good. Did I hit max armor at some point? How are we? I don't know. Whatever. We're going to reduce that by a little bit more. There we go. Okay. It's looking like the start of something here. Uh, I should upgrade these and do tier two. Oh well. That's pretty bad on the heat, isn't it? Pretty bad. Um, I think one ton is plenty. I really don't go through the SRMs that fast. Typically. We'll see how one ton works. Um, oh, I need one more heat sink. I can squeeze on there. Really, I need more than that. But um, what I need is a double heat sink kit. That's what I really need. And there is nothing here. So, why don't we go ahead and start that? I know it's under tonnage. Maybe instead of doing the double large laser, since we don't really have the cooling for it right now, we're going to do medium lasers instead. And... Medium laser... I think that's actually worse on cooling than what we were with the two large lasers. Uh, but that does give us more room to add on some more heat sinks. 
Not that that really helps us any. Oh man, tough choice. I mean, the cooling is just crap with it like this. But how much of that is coming from these? 0.76, so you got about one and a half per second is coming from that, so that leaves us at about three. We're at a 1.3 out of three running just the lasers. That's not very good. That really is not sufficient. Oh, man. Do we go with all medium lasers for now? I think until we get more cooling, that might be... But then what do we do with the rest of the tonnage that we have here? <laughs> we do a bigger engine. That would be the ideal thing. Yeah, that's not going to work either. I, I, I think let's go with what I was going to do originally. Because this more or less... I mean, that's... Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what we have to do. And then we could take one medium laser that adds basically half a point of heat per second. I'm going to say, nah, let's just stick with this. And I want to go find. Yeah, let's go ahead and start it. We need to make some money. Light. See, that's what I was talking about. I need a good solid light mech to do that. Um, this is open weight class? Oh, I'm not going to do that. Should we try this one? I, I don't really have a good light mech for doing this. I mean, we could roll AC2s. That might actually, might actually be pretty good. Um, I mean, the Panther would be good, but he would fall apart pretty quickly, I'm afraid. Two twelve, two forty six for armor. I think we try it with the Irby. We just play it safe. We can make some money real quick. Maybe even loot a heat sink. Make sure I select the right one here. So it's glacial ice, nine square kilometers. Okay, let's go. Go ahead and do this. And we need to remove everybody. And then I need to get into the Irby. All right. Let's see what you could do, little Irby. Since I haven't actually played the Irby yet, this should be interesting. Here we go again. Deja vu. We've got an intense right. bout underway. This will be interesting Irby. to see if these mech warriors come out Making guns the debut. Blazing. Let's see, we got or two guys over there. A There's a yellow guy right up here, right I think. The, the others were over there somewhere. How much ammo did I have now on this guy? Into it. 200 rounds for two AC2s. Well, that's not going to cut it. Oh, crap. We didn't put nearly enough ammo on this thing. Our assigned mech target is on the field. Uh, we're going to have to try and really conserve ammo here. Hit. Let's see if that shifts the momentum here. Crap. Okay. Um, good to know. <clears throat> Do not waste ammo. Yeah, that's going to be tough. That's a little disappointing. I didn't realize our ammo was so low. I'm going to get closer before I start firing. Let's go for legs, I guess. Ow, wasted those shots. Can't be doing that, man. Okay. 
getting there. Oh, missed. Okay. Takes care of that guy. really have to do something spectacular to get out of this jam. Hmm. Let's see. I know there's a guy right down over here. I guess actually we could shoot him if from up here and he can't even get to leg, us. This match will be over. Yeah, take the legs. We need that. Let's see, there was somebody. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's an Herbie. His legs haven't really taken any damage. Oh, that locust is almost dead. Excellent. That guy was fresh, wasn't he? The green guy over there. So those are the three that we got left. An Herbie, a locust, and I didn't... Was it a jab? I didn't quite see what that was. Might have been a javelin. I think I saw a J. The Irby could be tough, New actually. Javelin. Oh yeah, it was a javelin, Target wasn't it? One. Yep. Okay, where is he? He's going that way? Perfect. Okay, let's go get the locust. Hopefully he goes and fights the javelin so they weaken each other. And we're actually doing pretty good on ammo. Um turns out this was a, a nice short match with only six enemies so this match is losing its momentum out luckily there. we're okay on ammo but i need to remember out. we Let's need at least one more ton of ammo what is that that's only like one ton Don't right is that all we put on this was one ton of ammo what was i thinking that's not gonna be enough i wonder if you can find uh random loot in these arena missions that would be kind of weird I don't think you can. I don't think I've ever found any. <clears throat> Where did that locust go? There he is. Alright, CT is already open, just waiting for us to finish him. Yep, face me. Oh, that was a bad shot. There we go. Off. Now... Did that Irby ever engage the Javelin? He's probably still working his way over there. I mean, I'm in an Irby too, so... It's not... If I made it all the way over here by now, he probably did, right? Target, well, they haven't engaged yet, but he's getting close. He is getting close. And then all we have to do is step in, pick off the survivor between the two, and we're good to go. Actually, we could probably just go ahead and engage them both while they're fighting. We got plenty of armor, plenty of ammo. We are good. And we got the high ground. So that should work well for us. Let's wait for him to engage and then we Target will acquired. also engage. I think we'll start with the jab. Yep, there we go. They fight Energy each other now. What did that Irby have? AC-10 burst fire. Yeah, that's going to do some damage. Someone needs to do something to kick it Let's up see. a notch. Who's, who's going to win this? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think the jab has the upper hand right now. But that could change real quick. Are his SRMs on the arms? I don't think so. They're uh, torso mounted, right? I guess if I'm gonna shoot, I should at least make sure I hit. Target acquired. Yeah, okay, he lost one of his SRMs. Can we Time even it up for him? But this could be a huge momentum swing. It just went off out there. I think we blew up some of his ammo. <laughs> bye bye. Ow, just trying to get that leg. Oh, okay. He's gonna come up the ramp, so let's move over here and greet him. <laughs> it's a good thing he's fast, he can make it to us well before we make it down there. Say hello to my little friends. Oh, he can still melee. Well, I have 360 torso turn Racing radius, so take that. Top. He is tough as nails. 
Yeah, buddy. Winner. All right. How much money did we get for that? Probably not a ton. Maybe I should have taken more money than salvage, huh? I didn't really think about that. Although we could salvage mech parts, build the mechs, and sell them for money. That works too. So... Probably still okay with the salvage. 850k! Oh, I like that. We only got one for that. Yeah, whatever. We'll get to fresh meat one of these days. Yeah, javelin. That's a missile jab. Don't care about the. Don't care about that. Do we need to build a commando? I don't remember. I feel like maybe we did. Let's take those parts. Let's take these. We could build another Irby. R60. R60 is a pretty good one. Um, is that what I'm using right now? No. What was my Irby? I don't even remember. Ooh, tier 2 SRM6? You betcha. Uh, single heat sinks? Yes. Definitely taking those. And then maybe just taking jump jets to sell. Take the ammo because we do end up selling those. Uh, I guess the laser, that's 200k for that, so that's a really nice deal. And then we still got two more parts we can... I guess another Irby. And a Locust. No, let's go Spider. It's worth more. Alright, looks good. Okay, I like it. 199 damage done. Not a lot, we kind of played it safe. I wanted to make sure we didn't run out of ammo. You run out of ammo on that mech and you're in real pickle. Especially if you're in an arena match. I mean, what are you going to do? The only way you can win is by killing the other mechs. It's not like there's an objective that you can win by not ever shooting. So, another 300k. Very nice. What was this for? This was for, oh, kill javelins. Nice. Okay, SRM2s. Eh. Like I said, I don't really use them rest of it's nice. We got upgrade points, so that's cool. That's really cool. Um, because we do need to still, well, we don't need the upgrade points for it, but we do need to upgrade uh, these two as well. So we need another million sea bills to do both of those. Uh, let's repair. Repair mech, yep. Now, I should just put the Jenner in cold storage for now, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I think that's good. Let's, uh, now that we've got some money again, we can actually go somewhere. I want to look for... Actually, I don't really need to look for anything. So let's go find some more missions to do. These are one to two over here. Beachhead defense, assassination. One to two is a little low for us though, right? There is a high reward quest over there. Kinda want to do that because we could definitely use some high reward stuff, but kinda like the idea of doing these higher level missions first. I don't know. I guess let's do it. <clears throat> we can do these while we wait for our uh, freshly built mechs, the Centurion and the Cicada, to finish. And then uh, once they do, we can go do some higher level missions with them. Uh, chasing Ghosts from Baron Ishmael Stroud. Okay. A decade ago, my eldest son, Ravid, was an envoy on a diplomatic voyage to the magistrate... Magistracy of Canopus. Am I saying that right? Magistracy. It just sounds weird to me. Mag Magistracy of Canopus. And the jump ship he was on misjumped and never arrived at his destination. For ten long years he has been missing and I have exhausted every resource to find him or to at least discover what happened to him. I refuse to believe that he is dead. But it has been ten years without contact so I can only assume the worst. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
However, just when I was about to finally give up hope, I received a message from a Capellan merchant whose vessel had recently passed through the region in which my son's jump, sh jump ship disappeared. This merchant detected signs of habitation from a planet previously thought to be uninhabited, but he did not investigate due to the constant worry of stumbling into an unknown pirate den. Yeah, that could be a concern. Could the crew and passengers of my son's ship have found a place of refuge where they had no means of finding their way back home? Possibly. This is... This is might be... Okay, good English there, buddy. Uh, this might be a wild goose chase, but I would be remiss to not follow through with trying to bring my son home. If you investigate and find my son, I will be forever in your debt. However, if you find criminals or other undesirables, I will ensure that you are compensated for keeping the free world's league safe from such predators. Well, look, dude. If your son's jump ship disappeared in that area, and then there's signs of what could be pirate base nearby. Doesn't that pretty much tell you everything you need to know? Raided by pirates, he's dead, they took all his stuff. Anyways, we'll go find out for him, I guess. Class four, yeah, we could do that. That shouldn't be hard. Duchy of Andorian. Endurian. Is that where we are? I don't know if that's where we are or not, but we're not taking that one anyways, so it don't really matter. Uh, let's see if there's any of those jump jets in here real quick. Of course not. There's nothing here. So, now we go to contracts, and we want to do this one. Okay, good. These are a little bit higher difficulty. Difficulty 15. I like that. Uh, let me see. This was no man's land, 14 square kilometers in a deluge. So it's restricted, heavily restricted visibility. I would imagine deluge is pretty bad. Although we don't have the cockpit glass mod because it hasn't been updated yet. Uh, so our cockpit glass will probably still be pretty dang clear. All right, let's go with that. Extreme weather warning and we need our lamps back. You'll have Guys, out let's there. go. Have let's see. Who are we? So let's forces. go. You. These guys are all 15. So who do we like best? <laughs> Fiend has the highest maximum. He's at 64. And then let's Goblin has 63. But he's still training. So we can't use Goblin. Who wants some of this? Uh, I don't know what you mean by some of this. I want you to fight for me. Is that an option? Okay. And you are in the Phoenix Hawk, and you... Actually, I don't know if I'm picking the right mix here. Okay, who were you using? You were using the Panther, right? Yeah. And then you were using the Irby, which needs ammo. Uh... We may have to just drop a bunch of armor to do it. I don't see any other way because we need all six of those single heat sinks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten on each. Oops, why am I doing the arm? Not paying attention, guys. You didn't say anything. There. Okay, so that drops each leg to 17. That really sucks, but it's about all we can do. So, let's drop center torso by four. No. By eight. And then one, two, one, two, three. That's going to have to do it. I don't like it very much, but, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted ammo. Thank you. But that's going to have to do it. Yeah, one ton for two AC2s is really not a lot. Um, I like this a lot better. So, start work. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Better. Okay. Everybody ready? Let's roll. Yes, I'm going to wait. Uh, Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did that already, but okay. Ooh, I can hear that rain. Let's see how bad the visibility is. <clears throat> the 
gas in this star system. Are How is there fire if there's rain? Eh, yeah, must be chemical fires. We'll be kicking the hornet's nest on Let's this little expedition. So crippling their reserves will help or us out napalm. significantly. <laughs> Maybe side, napalm? Uh, let's go this way first. Okay. Sorry, Rihanna, I wasn't paying attention. Did you say something? Why are we here again? Just kill red things? Okay. If it shows up as red, I shoot it. Uh, so I guess we'll put the two over here on this side, and then we'll go over there and get those two. I think that's gonna be the quicker way to do this. Well, there was definitely a major battle going on around here. So wait, how is my heat? Did I walk through the fire or something? Is that what did it? I'm a little confused. Oh, they're shooting me with uh, incendiary ammo, I think. Are they? Maybe? Target destroyed. Target acquired. Gotta watch my heat. Okay, he's down. I gotta watch my damage. Holy crap. And heat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Be nice, please. Okay, we gotta take that arm off. That AC 10, I don't like it. And I overheated again. But we got his cannon, right? Yeah, and we actually took him down. Good job, guys. Yeah, something's loading incendiary rounds. Not sure what it is. Uh, what? Pirates? Okay. Are they shooting at us? No. They're shooting at the other guy. Or the base, whatever. I don't know, something like that. Let's take him out. I can stay mostly protected here in the building because I have the high mounted guns. So that works well for me. Okay, let's get the other blackjack here. Uh oh, not my arm. Yikes. Okay. Last one over there. You guys got that? Thank you. Alright. Well, that was just the first location. The first map point. <laughs> Off to a great start. We took a lot of damage there, actually. The... What was up with that? Huh? I mean, well, we did have the pirates. But I, they weren't really the ones that did the damage to me. It was those stupid, uh, what were the herbies or whatever? Get up here, see what we can do, see if I can do this without losing an arm. I'm gonna switch my lasers to short burst here. I think I like the short burst just a little bit better. It's hard to really tell though uh, which one is a little more effective for me here. I guess it depends on the situation really, but. Okay, guys, we got another blackjack. They really like blackjacks in this place. Go get him, I'll take care of the objective here. He's just somewhere over there. Oh, we got Irby as well. There he is, okay, Blackjack right there. Are you guys hitting him or what? Yeah, don't look at me, dude. Okay, I don't like the screen shake from these orbital cannons. Okay, three. Come on. Oh, there he is. Nope, 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 nope. He's shooting me. He's shooting me. We're going to duck back down, tell our lance to attack. Get in there, guys. Let's uh, scoot around this side here so we can pick off these objectives. Uh, go ahead, guys. Go get that. He's just an Irby. The three of you should be fine to take him out. Don't be afraid. Uh, where is 
that it? There we go. Okay. Where's the Orby? There he is. Oh crap, he's still on me. Alright, I guess we just have to take him out. Okay. Taking a lot of damage here. Um, let's go ahead and switch. Panther is fine. Actually, no. I want the Phoenix on it. Yep. And then we're going to tell old boy to sit tight. And I'm going to switch my lasers to short burst. Why does my SRMs, they say LRM for the ammo? That's, uh, that's not right. What if I try to change that? Ammo depleted. Ammo uh, don't depleted. let me change it. Okay. Well, it's definitely not LRM ammo. So, they still work fine. Just a visual bug there. Okay, I I do hope that our uh, blackjack's gonna be okay back there by himself. I think he should be fine. Let's see. Nobody home? Yeah, it's just a turret. No, it's a vehicle. He's kicked. Alright. People are home. I'm just gonna walk over this one. And you. Detecting targeted battle mech in the area. Okay, let's let him come back here so our lance can engage. Gotta be careful with ordering my lance to attack. I can't do a quarter of them all at once since we're leaving our blackjack back there. And I have done that before. Accidentally ordered them all in when I was trying to leave somebody out. Not always fun when that happens. Okay. Let's go ahead and move through these. Destroyed. Commander, enemy dropship coming in right oh, on top of goody. you. Oh, goody. You know, I like to hear that. Uh, where's this dropship she was talking about? I don't see one. Uh, what was that over there? A turret? Okay, I'm not too worried about that. These guys, on the other hand, uh, too soon. Target Target yeah, got stuck on something. Okay, guys, am I the only one shooting him? Okay, let's go this way. Is that an enemy mech down there, or is that just a uh, parked Loader King? I think that's a parked Loader King. Oh, come on. How did those missiles miss? There we go. Okay, whatever that turret was, he was shooting incendiary. Okay, is there anybody here? Yep. Oh, of course there is a panther with a PPC X. Oh crap. Not a big fan of that. Let's kind of hide behind these buildings here. 
let our guys engage. Let's, uh, I got it. I'm gonna order them to engage. There we go. For what, the SRMs? Yeah, that's the only weapon we have with ammo, so... That's okay, we are done. Scratch that target off the list. Beautiful. Now where to? Way over there. Okay, sure. Target acquired. No, he's still not dead. There he is. Who's this? Range, sir. Yeah, go take out that valve, please. Uh -oh. And my arm was pretty heavily damaged. That's not good. That's my uh, large laser arm. Yeah, finish him, please, guys. Yikes. Are they even shooting him? I don't see him taking damage. Come on, people. Where are you? There's one. Where's the other one? Ow, oh, not my lasers. It is a medium laser, though. We can easily replace Actually, that was a tier 3, so we cannot easily replace it. Oh, I'm standing in the fire. Whoopsie. Wow, that fire actually does a lot of heat damage. Crap. We gotta move out of it. There we go. Okay. And can we finish this guy real quick here? Before we go. And I'm standing in the fire again. This is so dumb. <laughs> Why do I keep standing in the fire? Why can't I learn? So you see how the rain is just all around the edges of the cockpit glass? That would be fixed with the cockpit glass mod. And apparently it does still work uh, in most cases. But there are some cases where it doesn't and causes some issues. And I just didn't want to deal with it. So I'm waiting for the mod to be updated. And I'll use it again. Oh, come on. I wasn't even walking over the fire. It was to my right and to my left. I wasn't on it. Is it even gonna, you know what? Let me go. There we go. Jump jets for the win. You don't say. Hooray. Was it? Oh, because we fought pirates. Destroyed their ammunition. I guess that's good for the galaxy. Sure, sure. We did our good deed for the day. Okay, well, that was... That was interesting. Uh, took a lot of damage. Hopefully our repair bill is not too much. Although we don't really have a replacement for that tier 3 laser that we lost. I believe it was tier 3. We'll check. Almost one mil on the sea bills. It actually should have been more than that, if I remember right, from the uh, uh, pre-mission screen. Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. Blackjack 1, PPC-X tier 0, Panther with a PPC, Valkyrie, Irby. So we could build another panther. We could build another Irby. Four and two, two and four. I think two and four is the one we're using, right? The R60L. Anyways, uh, so we could build that now. Ooh, nice. Tier two medium lasers, I like those. I'll take those jump jets and I want some more heat sinks. I guess just two more heat sinks. Actually, I kind of feel like maybe we need the rapid fire AC ammo. We only got four of those. Oh, uh, we did have some doubles, didn't we? I'm pretty sure I picked up some doubles. 
Yeah, I think so. Let's go with another heat sink there. I want to have at least five heat sinks on hand. Okay. Ten, five, four, and two. Yeah. Um, those aren't 100% accurate on numbers because I did switch around between the mechs a little bit. Um, so some of this damage was done while I was on the Phoenix Hawk, I think is the way that works. Same thing with the damage taken. Alright, we got those jump jets. Perfect. That's going to give us some more money. A little bit of money. Uh, medium rifles, they are tier 3, but meh. Uh, although I do need to try out the, the rifles um, with the revamped weapons mod here. Because they are faster. I can tell you that just from looking at their stats. Uh, so that's nice. Collect 8 LRM5 streams. Don't know that I'm going to do that, but I think we could do this one. Let's see where it is. If it's not one that I want to do, I can change my mind. Yeah, that's right up here. That's where we're going next anyways. So, I like that. Okay, let's repair. Oh, it was tier 2. Awesome. So we did, Okay, I thought the medium lasers were also tier 3, but it's just the large laser that was tier 3. Okay, cool. Uh, so we should be able to just do repair all then, right? Do, do, do. Work orders. Yikes. Oh, yeah, that's my Centurion. Sorry. Uh, Phoenix Hawk. Okay, and Blackjack didn't really lose anything. Nobody else did, so that's good. Good, good, good. Okay, and we still have almost 2 million C-bills. So that's actually not bad at all. Uh, the next place we need to go to is down here, but do we want to... Eh, I don't think we want to do any of these missions. The mission, these uh, the regular missions in this area are a little below where we want to be. Just barely. I mean, they'd still be worth doing, probably. And we are already here. But, you know what? I just remembered. I think we're out of time for today. So that'll probably do it for today's episode. And then next time, I think what we'll do is go ahead and do the targeted kill and the demolition contracts here. Since we're already here, we need the money. Um, if we spend most of our time just flying around doing one mission at each location, it's a good way to run out of money. Um, so you want to try and do multiple missions at each stop as you're flying around, right? Um, and these will be easy. We should be able to get them done pretty quick. And then we'll fly down here and we'll do the demolition contract, which is the second part of Chasing Ghosts. Uh, and I think that will finish that mission chain. I think it's just the two missions for that. There might be a third one, but I think it's just the two. Um, and then once we're done with that, we'll probably do the assassination contract there as well. And then head up here and try to find that item we're looking for, as well as doing some uh, higher level missions. And we will finally get around to testing out our Centurion and our Cicada. Probably. That still has quite a bit of time on it, but I think maybe by the end of next episode we'll be at the point where we can test at least, we'll, we'll at least test out the Cicada and then hopefully the Centurion as well. So, what fun, huh guys? It's a uh, early game. You, you know, you're going to take a lot of damage, but fortunately it's cheap to repair. You're not really damaging anything expensive. So, go ahead get bruised up, get your stuff uh, broken, and then come back, fix it up, you go out and do it again, right? Fun stuff. <laughs> Anyways, looking forward to next time. Hope to see you guys then. Thanks for watching.